Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now before I go down this pipe which leads on the way to the boss rather than to the boss itself, let's go back to that, that chest where I fought Pandorite. Whenever you leave the room and come back, you'll see another chest. This one gives you 50 coins. That's pretty much all I need to show you. There's nothing else here. Other than rooms of enemies, that's pretty much it. I mean, the Carol Sewers is not as big as it makes itself out to be. So let's save after that mushroom. And we can continue on. Oh, by the way, I'm at level 6, so I learned Super Jump and Psychopath. Here, I'll show you. Okay, Super Jump. Push Y prior to hit for DAMAGE! And like as soon as you hit A or Y when you land on the enemy, you can jump up again and hit the enemy again. You had to have massive concentration and you get pretty good rewards if you were able to do it like some once for 30 or 36 times in a row and another one for 100. See foes HP and secrets. You can only see the secrets of hit A or Y at the moment the spotlights converge. It's pretty cool. You'll learn some pretty neat things, especially if you play the ROM hacks, Super Mario RPG Revolution. You'll see a lot of random secrets there. Okay, I'm going to take the antidote pin out of Mallow and bring him the wake up pin. Because Bellamy likes to put foes to sleep. And he doesn't try to poison, so there's no point for an antidote pin. Let's go take this guy on. Th this must be... Bellamy? Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Oh, ah, it's a snack attack, and you're it! Oh, it's boss time now. Okay, time to try that new super jump. Ooh, 158! I don't, I don't even know how many times I did that. I I try my best to stay extremely silent when I do this. Otherwise, I'll miss up my concentration. I'll try Psychopath. Yeah, press A right at this time. 342 more HP, okay. I just want to sleep! Ooh, room service has been kind to me! Where's my bib? Ew, it's gross. Try another super jump. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm willing down a lot of HP there. Try Thunderbolt. Stick for a body, head for a straw, give me a scarecrow, rah rah rah! Scroll Funk, and I don't know why, but he only seems to do that to Mario. That is why I'm glad I got the true form pin off him. I mean, not him. I mean, granted, I could still do the super jump, but my moves would be limited. And I messed up a lot that time. You had to have immense concentration and timing to get this. C -c can't stand it! The hunger! The hunger! Okay, clearly I cannot do another super jump or a regular jump in general. So why don't I attack once? That was scary! If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood! Oh, I won. I didn't really need to use another honey syrup. Good. Yeah, I think I might as well move the mic away, because it's a bit too close to my face. Bellamy must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario? Do you hear something, or is it just me? Water! Here it comes, Mario! Hit the button before it washed away! And we're gonna get washed away. But we do not die. Instead, we get taken to a minigame. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Uh, no. You just keep tapping B so you can like swim upward to grab some coins or frog coins. But you cannot go all the way up. You can do this for a wall and then you start going down. Grab the frog coins because they're really special. 
Okay, I'm not gonna go in that cave. I'm gonna go left. Get some coins, a frog coin. I'm gonna go in this cave. You get a little scene here where you go through the river, and there's a flower. And yes, we are going to get that flower. All you gotta do is just wait it out because you can't really do anything else. You can't even go to your inventory by pressing X. You can't do anything. All you can do is just wait it out, get the flower, and go back to the Midas River course. Thank you! And then we will go back to the river by going to this trampoline. And see if there's any more coins to get. I like coins. I want to get more coins. I can get more coins if I go to the left, but I'd rather a flower, so I'm gonna go to the right. Oh, actually you get just one coin, pretty much. Thank you, canine. You're not so bad after all. I feel sorry for that crook. He's just gonna get his head caved in. I wish I could have got all those coins. Okay, now we begin another mini game. Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Well, if you want to stay on one side of the river, you keep jumping onto another barrel. If you want to switch sides, you don't jump. Let yourself take a hit. Watch out for the fish that pop out of the water, otherwise you will lose coins. Some sides of the river will have more coins and others will have less. You gotta go at your own discretion. Basically, you don't have to do anything else except jump. So yeah, you can grab yourself plenty of coins. If you get like 60 coins, you can exchange them for a frog coin. The frog coins are very rare. But of course, you already know that. Okay, the music is getting a little faster, that means we're closer to the end. Aha, <laughs> dodge the fish. Oops, missing out some coins. Missing out on more coins. Missing out on even more coins! Okay, fine, I'll switch sides. Damn it! How can I go over this way? Fine, I'm gonna stay over here. That's better. I probably won't get a frog coin out of this, but... At least you can go back another time and try to get more coins. You can still get that frog coin. If it really means that much to you. Wasn't that fun? You got 54 coins! Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green coin, green ones, and Tadpole Ponds got more info on them. You've got 54 coins, but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. Oh, you get a knock-knock shell. That's a new weapon for Mario, so let's equip it. Right now. Oh yeah, if you jump on that little springboard, you get to do the Midas River course again. Just in case you really wanted to. To Tadpole Pond we go. Step on this little switch. And a Tadpole will come to greet you. Hi! Can I help you? Mello, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bellamy, right? You know about that? See, Mario? The waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll, you'll never guess who's here! He's the real thing, but he doesn't look like anything I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Nope. Why can't I jump like that in the real game? Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa! Mario has been helping me! I know, child. That rainstorm we just had. That was you, wasn't it? Lol. Watch it up there! You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Well, so much for the optical illusion. You clearly know how he's floating. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogficious. 
pretty much a play off the character Confucius, who's a philosopher. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. I think that's supposed to be a lull moment. But how rude of me! Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear! Full reverse! Tadpoles! Don't just float there! Make yourselves useful! Form a bridge for Mario. <coughs> yes, that, that would be much appreciated because I can't swim. At least not in the pond full of tadpoles. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep, he has quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you hear a loud crash, and I saw a huge sword split the sky. Whoosh! Out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost, somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess. But first, you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated in Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle of Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? Nope. I don't want to hear that story again. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Malo, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. What? Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Cue the big revelation. Malo, my boy. I've kept this from you until now, but you're... Not a tadpole. Everyone seems so surprised. I mean, come on, really. That's just like going to your girlfriend saying, I'm not a horse. I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Civil, civil, civil ellipsis. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somehow, somewhere. I mean, Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Oh yeah, Grandpa. I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town where they need your help. It will be quiet around here with Milo gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right. I had forgotten all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. He shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't want to forget to equip Mallow's 
first weapon in the game so far. Oh, that's really gonna help us out. Despite the fact that Mallow is not a physical user, more of a magic user. It'll cut down on the flower points. Actually, I might want to talk to this tadpole first. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's Frog Fuchsia Suite number 18. Sola, mi, re, do, re, mo, do, re. Todovsky's fond of it too. That's a little hint for later, when we go to Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. Okay, why not? I'm the composer, Todovsky. I'm trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. You want a music lesson from moi? Sure. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines? Between the second and third lines from the top lies Do. Keep going up, and the notes are Do, Re, Mi. Go down, and you get Do, Ti, La, So, Fa. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa. You're on your way to composing. Now, you remember the songs are Do, So, La, Do, Re, Mi, Do, Re, Mi, or something. Uh, so, La, I think it was so la mi re do re do re do re do re there and that's the song you need to learn and if you got notes wrong the tadpole would just disappear and the ones you got right would stay up that's it this is the melody I've been looking for thank you for the inspiration Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Oh, you get an alto card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. Now with that alto card, it's a pretty good item to get. You see there's a little shop in Tadpole Pond that sells you some pretty good stuff as far as healing your HP goes. They don't sell mushrooms or anything, they actually got their one-of-a-kind stuff. Which is pretty good, because it comes in handy. Trust me on this one. Here, I'll show you. You actually gotta go over to this shop over here. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first-timer, aren't you? Listen up. The green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. Well, actually, this is not the right place. We can get a sleepy bomb that puts enemies to sleep. You get a bracer that raises your allies' defense. Energizer for raising battle power, Crystalline for party defense, and Power Blast for party's attack power. It's this shop you're supposed to go to, the Juice Bar. Are you a card member? Even Todoski has a membership here. Ah, an Alto card holder. What would you like? If you didn't have the Alto card, all you can buy is Froggy Drink. Party recovers 30 HP. With the Alto card, you can get the Elixir. For 42 coins, you can recover 80 HP for your entire party. I don't know how much mid mushrooms cost, they do like 80 HP per party member. But imagine, like only 42 coins to recover your entire party's HP for 80 HP each. Oh, I can't care anymore? Well, I suppose I can get rid of that pure water that I don't need anymore. Some of these mushrooms can go as well. I'll keep the honey syrups because these drinks don't have anything to do with MP. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Alright, we're finally done with this place. I am going to stop the video right here. Next part, we're going to head to Roseway. See ya, everyone.